She got this at an estate sale for $2, $2. And she said she had an offer right out the gate at 200 and she turned it down. And it's a good thing she did because this sold on auction for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for a featured members video. In this video, I am going to share with you some big bunny bolos. Um, the ones that aren't big money are unexpected. So get ready to get educated on items to be on the lookout for. If you don't know, BOLO stands for Be On Lookout. I am gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right, so the first item here comes from Cheryl Shiny Squirrel, and I love it. Right here it says, reseller, not hoarder. Um, if you're a reseller and you can relate to that comment, let me know down in the comments or to that statement. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a hoarder. If you guys watched my recent video where I showed you my inventory, you may think I'm a hoarder. All right, look at her store. She has a fantastic items, vintage to now. And uh, I will link her down in the description of the video. So how this works is these are members of my YouTube channel. And if you want to join, there is a link to join down in the description. But um, all of the YouTube channels and the eBay stores will be linked in the description for you guys to check out. So let's see her bolos. The first item she sold is this vintage, whoopsie, right here. It's a Christmas Bucilla felt Christmas tree skirt and it's partially used and she bought this for herself and never completed it. I think she says she's had it about 20 years and you guys, it sold for $149.99 plus shipping. So these Bucilla stockings, um, there's lots of different ones that do really well. Dimensions also does well. If you see cross stitch kits or any felt kits like this, definitely look them up. The next item she sold is this vintage Pez Witch. It is a Pez dispenser. It's made in the USA and it has no feet. That is one thing to definitely look for. And there's also writing on the side that can help you look up the item. She got this. Um, it was sitting in her money pile in a Halloween tote and she decided to list it. And a good thing she did. Um, I think she told me it sold for $71 or $72. I forgot to write it down. So definitely a big money bolo. And for those of you that watched my Pez mistake video, I still have not found the Pez dispenser. I'm so afraid that it got put in the donate pile. Um, either that or it's just going to show up one day and I'm going to be able to message the buyer and be like, I found it finally. But um, I gave up looking for it. I'm just waiting for it to show up at this point. So that's a Pez dispenser update for you guys. All right, this is pretty cool. It's a prep deck recipe preparation kit. And it's got like a cutting board. Look how fancy this is. She got this at the Goodwill for $12.99 and sold it for $79.99 plus shipping. The next item is this crate and barrel burgundy red iridescent glass Caldell. Caldera, Caldera, I'm not sure how to say that, Centerpiece Bowl, Italy. And here is what it looks like. And I probably would have walked right past this. And I love items like that because that is what helps us all learn. And it is iridescent. She got this at the, I believe, a thrift store for $6.99 and sold it for $61.99. The next item comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and she is a new member, and she is a Bolo Finder. You can check her link out below, her eBay store, and she's got lots of great stuff. I like how she has this Happy Holidays category, and again, vintage to now, just really uh, fantastic items. And if you want to follow an eBay store, right up at the top, 
you can click on this heart and it's uh, save seller. So if they ever send out coupons or when they list new items, you will get alerts, okay? So what did she sell? She sold this Cabbage Patch Kid. Now, this is says Jessmar. It looks like it's from Spain, has all the signed papers, um, pedigree edition. Now, she did have this listed really high at uh, $1,500, on sale for $1,500. Here is uh, what's on the tag and on the back of the neck. And it had the original outfit. Okay, so that made it more valuable and it looks to be in really good condition. But she said tons of people were messaging her about this doll. She got it at a flea market for five bucks and somebody came in with a $500 offer in two days and she went ahead and took that offer. So could she have held out for more? I think she probably could have, but five bucks into 500 all day long. These Marilyn Monroe Fur and Pearls photo deck of cards. Uh, Frank Powolin, Powolin, I'm not sure how to say it, P-O-W-O-L-N. These are new and sealed, and she got these from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. So what was going on here was, is she was bidding on a sports lot. Um, let's see, she said she paid $34 for the entire lot. Nobody was bidding against her. and. Donna threw in the Marilyn Monroe cards at the end. So she's just like, okay, here, I'm just going to throw this in as a bonus. And she does that sometimes. And these cards alone, she took a best offer of $200. So if you are not following Donna Bottolino, you definitely want to go over and check out her YouTube channel. I will link it down below. You guys hear me talk about her and my what solds all the time. Her and auctions for you. I buy from them both at their YouTube uh, selling events. So uh, they will be linked down below. So check them out if you are looking for inventory. All right. The next item is this Childmark Poland Salmon Run Limited Edition Pewter Sculpture. And I have been seeing a lot of these lately. Um, I've seen several of my members that have been, been selling these. I think... Uh, I buy Chit, and that's C-H-I-T. Uh, Christopher, I think he sold one of these, and I think Yard Sales and Dreams YouTube channel sold one of these. So, yeah, I just keep seeing these floating around. Like, there for a while was Yadro, like, everywhere. Everyone was selling it, and now I'm seeing these. She got 18 of these for $80 at a flea market, and this one alone sold for $108.60 plus shipping. Here is Donatella Bottolino's channel. If you want to go and check her out, this is what it looks like. And again, they, between her and auctions for you, they are on five to seven days a week. They are on all the time. So great way to uh, get some inventory. Okay, Ray Nathan RZ09 eBay store. No YouTube channel. Again, lots of great items. She's the one that keeps selling the Bratz dolls that were her daughter's. Um, man, oh man, she is making great money on these Bratz dolls. She does sell a lot of toys and really fun items. So definitely go and uh, check out her store. So the first item she sold is this Jean Nate perfumed bath powder and puff. And it is new sealed. So new old stock, I'm guessing. And she got this at a thrift store for $2.99 and sold this for $69. So yeah, those old uh, bath puffs, they can do really well. So definitely look them up if you see them. Here is one of the Bratz dolls. This is Yasmin. She is vintage. She is pretty and punk. And this was one of her daughters and she sold this for $89 plus, uh, I'm sorry, free shipping on that one. The next item she sold are these three Emerson Creek Pottery Halloween Cat Pumpkin Dessert Snack Plates from 1999. This is what they look like on the back. And I do like that she did photos of each plate. And one person ended up wanting to buy all three of them. They are hand painted. So they are all a little bit different. And she ended up selling these for $22 a piece for a total of $66 plus shipping. The next item is this jelly cat. It's Chai Chai Chinese Crested Dog Plush Puppy Floppy 
animal retired. It's a 16 inch and it is a rare, hard to find little guy. And he is so cute. He, she, I don't know what it is, but it is adorable. Uh, she got this one at a thrift store for $2.99. And this one went through the global shipping program. That means it was an international sale. And if you want to learn about more jelly cats that go for big money, I do have a category video on jelly cat. Now, this is Vintage Booth Pro, formerly known as Thrifty Nichols, but she has booths and she is really good at it. So she is going to start, um, I think, featuring more stuff from her booth. And let's check out what she sold. She sold on eBay this Lug Runner Lug Life Shimmer Black diaper bag. It's pre-owned like new. And I know sometimes when I try to put like new or new anything, uh, new old stock in the description right here or this uh, extra area. And somebody else just recently mentioned it. I get an alert. It won't let me do it. So I don't know how she got away with that. Maybe it's the quotations. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever gotten an alert that says you can't do that. Might be the quotation marks, not picking it up. Okay, so she got this at a church sale for $20 and it sold for a best offer of 60. This item here is a Sun Arrow My Neighbor Totoro. Big Totoro gray plush made in Japan. New with tags. Check him out. He's cute. I don't know what he's from. He must be from some sort of like cartoon or something. She got this at the Goodwill for $1.11 and she sold it for a best offer of $42.50 plus shipping. The next item here is this Hobo International Mahogany Brown Leather Wallet. Nancy is the style and it is folding and framed. So great keywords. I would not have known to put any of that in the title. Um, I'm guessing that probably really helped her sell her items. So great keywords. Got it at the Goodwill for $2.99 and she took a best offer of $45.50 plus shipping. The next item comes from Be Carried Away, who is also an amazing bolo finder. And she does so good with titles. She does a lot of vintage clothing. So if you have trouble with um, titles for clothing, like styles and keywords that are going to get eyes on your items. She is really good at that. So I know I always say that if you guys have been watching me a while, but it just amazes me when I watch her videos, how good she is with keywords and descriptions. All right. Carrie sold this vintage Trapper Keeper. It's BMX Biker Mead Trapper Keeper. If you do not know, these old Trapper Keepers can definitely be a big money bolo. She picked this up in the Ben's 10 challenge. So that is a challenge that I did on my channel for YouTube members. And we all went to the Ben's and we had to do a scavenger hunt for 10 items. And this was one of the items. So she found a bolo. Um, she... So the Benz, uh, I don't know how much her Benz is, but mine is $1.89, but it is up a little bit. And I just recently went to a new one um, and it was, I think, $1.49 or $1.59 a pound there. So much cheaper at that one. However, stay tuned for footage on that to see if I actually liked it or did not like it and if I found anything good. So the Trapper Keeper. So she's probably got three bucks in this and it sold for $93.59 plus shipping. All right, we got this vintage mid-century modern retro round orange vinyl ottoman footstool. Fantastic. Love it. How cool is that? She picked this up. Um, it was a freebie curb alert. So she has been doing these curb alert things and getting all kinds of awesome stuff for free. She ended up selling this for $93.59 plus shipping, and it was free to her. The next item here is this vintage 80s black embellished applique embroidery blazer jacket, size 14, pop new wave. So I would have not known to put pop new wave in the title. This is what I'm talking about. She's incredible. Um, she got this for $4.99 at the Salvation Army, and she sold this for $54.59 plus shipping. So um, having those keywords, people search for those words, and if they're in your title, they're going to find your item. All right, this one comes from 
amazing steals mm -hmm. and deals. And um, that is I buy chit, C H I T, on YouTube. And he is a major bolo finder. You have got to go and check out his uh, eBay store if you have not already. He has incredible stuff. And he has bread and butter items, but his big money, oh my goodness. Wait until you see some of these bolos. But I'm just showing you a few things from his store here. Look at these little skunks. Those are so cute. Little salt and pepper shakers. All right. The first item he sold is this vintage California Originals pink and gold starburst pottery atomic ashtrays and box. He got this at an estate sale for $10 and sold it for 150 plus shipping. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Free shipping. This here, um, the precious moments ones really just get my attention. Um, anytime picker has also been selling a lot of precious moments for big money. You just got to look them up. Most of them are going to be bread and butter, but some of them, they can go for a lot. This one is Happiness is a Song from Heaven, Easter Seals Edition. And he got this at an estate sale. $15 was his cost of goods. And sold it for $180 plus free shipping. The next item here is this vintage Annette Hempstead. And the reason I know how to say that is because I have been watching auctions for you and she has been selling these dolls like crazy over on her YouTube channel. So I knew how to pronounce it right. Otherwise, I would have been like, what? I'm not even going to try to um, say this word. Maybe I am. Pinchinu? Pinchinu? Pinchinu. We're going to go with that. It is a 2005 Kinder Limited Edition. Now, again, this came from YouTube channel Auctions for You. He did pay up for this. He paid $100 for this doll. Um, Christopher knows his stuff and he will pay up for items if he knows he can flip it quick for good money. He sold it the same day that he listed it for $350 free shipping. The next item here is this Cortez Santos Mexican oh, Soldad Folk Art Wood Religious Icon Virgin Mary from the 1930s. Another just incredible item. And he got this at an estate sale. He paid $30 for it and it sold for $250 free shipping. The next item are these vintage Cutco and they are amazing. Never used in the original box. How cool is that? He got this at an estate sale for 40 bucks. They sold in two hours for $300. And free shipping on that as well. And here is auctions for you. This is where he got that doll. So T did this huge buyout on a bunch of dolls. And they were super high end. Nice name brand dolls just like that. And uh, she has just sold so many of them. I'm not even sure if she has any left. So you guys will have to check her out. And see if she's got any dolls left. All right. Speaking of auctions for you, now she did list some of them on her um, eBay. I'm guessing the reason she pulled this one is because it is not working. It's in very good condition, but not working. I don't know if it's got like a pull string or what. Uh, yeah, so she didn't work. So she put it up on eBay. It looks like she had two of these, both not working, and sold them for $49.99 plus shipping. Here is another one that she had that is not working as well and also sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And this is also the Chatty Kathy. So if you see Chatty Kathy and she's not working, if she has on a nice outfit and she's clean, it looks like she still might bring 50 bucks because she sold three of them for that. This one right here is this 2005 Hawthorne Village Wolfman's Lair sculpture with Wolfman and COA. Um, this she gets her stuff from buyouts so big estates or um just she buys in bulk and that's how they are able to sell these things on their youtube auctions and selling events for cheaper so that you can buy them at a wholesale price and still have money um or room to flip them for a profit so this looks like it says monster series and she sold this for $98.99 all right, are you guys ready for mine? 
So I bought a $150 free shipping mystery box from Auctions for You. And I have not posted the video yet because I'm still trying to get everything listed. There's a ton of smalls in there. You guys know I like smalls and I like parting things out and I like figuring things out. Well, this box is full of that. So uh, stay tuned. That will be coming in the future. And I'll show you everything I got in the box. But spoiler alert, I already sold this item. It was one of the first things I listed. I was super excited to get it. It is a Hawthorne Village Pirates of the Caribbean set 2007 Cursed Pirates Jack Sparrow. This sold for a best offer of $80. I think I had it up for about maybe a week, week and a half. Um, I keep listing items from her box and then I'm switching over to my Goodwill Ben's box. And then I got all this free plush from a viewer. So I'm trying to list some of that. So I'm kind of all over the place right now. But this item, $80 plus shipping on that. So my, the box was $150. So I'm definitely going to do very well on that box. The next item comes from Antiques from Karen Janet, and she inherited her mother's hoard. Her mother had, um, I believe, like a store and had a lot of inventory. And I'm telling you, she has fantastic stuff. And she is selling this stuff over on her YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe to her. Um, nothing really on eBay right now. She is in the process of moving, but said she will be filling up her eBay store again, but I think she focuses mostly on YouTube um, auctions and selling events. However, she did sell this right here. It is an MCM fireplace uh, double wall steel chimney pipe. Now, she ended up selling it to two different people. One person bought something and somebody else bought something else, but it ended up being $300 that she got for this. And she got this from a house that they bought, I think she said a year ago. So she went ahead and listed these for parts and somebody scooped them up. So that is definitely something you consider, can consider doing. This of course was on Facebook marketplace, local pickup, but I wanted to share that with you guys because there is opportunity everywhere. The next item comes from flipping it good. All right. If you guys have a Ross near you, definitely um, check out Flippin' It Good because this guy is buying stuff at Ross, Marshalls, all these retail arbitrage places, and he is doing incredible. So let me tell you what I mean. Um, he got this Adidas Men's LA Kings Stadium Hockey Jersey at Ross for $16.99, and he flipped this for $230 plus shipping. So he is a retail arbitrage reseller. However, he does also go to garage sales and thrift stores, and he also buys um, Lost Cargo. So you're going to want to check out his channel because he is definitely a bolo finder. Okay, he also sold this Columbia jacket. He bought this on clearance at Ross for $19.99, probably an end of the season thing, and he ended up selling this for $180 plus shipping. The next item he sold are these cleats. He got these for $19.99 at Ross. He bought six pair and has already sold three. So he has three less left, bought them for $19.99 and sold them for $130 plus shipping. The next item here is this Ralph Lauren. Um, it's a King duvet. And these, the duvet covers are expensive. I have a duvet uh bedspread that I have to buy duvet covers for and they're pricey. So this one is Ralph Lauren. Great pickup at Ross, $34.99 he paid for it and he took a best offer or sold it for $180 on Poshmark. All right, the next item comes from Toy Attic and her channel is incredible. She um, does a lot of like She's got some sticker books going on now because she was at an estate sale and found amazing sticker books. But she talks about strawberry shortcake. She'll also do what sold videos, but definitely a unique, different channel that you definitely want to subscribe to. She is awesome. Um, so I will link her down below. And I'm going to show you what she sold. This is a vintage Disneyland 1950s Hills Brothers coffee house garden menu. It's a pop-up house, you guys. How incredible is this? 
She got this at an estate sale for $2, $2. And she said she had an offer right out the gate at 200 and she turned it down. And it's a good thing she did because this sold on auction for $371 plus shipping. It's a menu, a Disneyland menu. I definitely would have scooped that up. Okay, so here is one of the sticker books. It is uh, 74 pages and it's got all of those fancy stickers. And I think, yeah, so she made a video and she put that in the description. So anybody that is bidding on this can go down and really see exactly what they are getting. Um, I did that with matchbooks once. I was like, you know, I just want the person to know what they're getting. And I went through the matchbooks and just showed everything. And that's kind of what she's doing here. So that gives you condition and which stickers come in the lot. She got this at an estate sale. She paid $30 for a huge lot of stickers. If you watch the This Is My Bolo video, you're going to see her talking about some other stickers that she sold for big money. One sheet. Go check that out. This sold for $199.99 plus shipping. This is, I've never seen these before. This is incredible. They are vintage 1993 Russ Cosmic Critters complete set of six figures. And it says Fun Maker. So I'm guessing that is the Fun Makers. I was going to say the brand, but the brand is Russ. I don't know. Has anyone seen anything like these? She got these at an estate sale for $6 and sold them for a best offer of $150. And the next item is this vintage Holt Howard Christmas 1959 Elf Pixie Rectangle, Rectangle Planter Rare, five inches tall. So right now, Holt Howard, definitely a good brand. These little pixie elves planters trending. Uh, great for Christmas. Great find. She got it in an estate sale for $9 and sold it for $150 plus shipping. Okay, you guys, what did you think about those amazing bolos? Fantastic. Um, if you would like to join, there should be a join button right here. If you don't see it, go down to the description and there's a join button. To be in a video like this, you join at level two. Um, if you would like an additional share in my Facebook group, either your eBay store or your YouTube channel, in addition to this video, you can join at level three. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support in the comments. Leave me your favorite emoji. Thanks for watching.